part two of our flight to Key West. Last time we got as far south as Palm Beach, and today we'll fly the rest of the way. Zero Tango Bravo, Squawk VFR, Red Services terminated. Contact Boca Raton Tower on uh, 118.42 to transit our class Delta. 118.42, Squawk VFR, thanks for the help, Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo. Boca Raton Tower, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, good morning. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo is about um, 8 miles to the north, um, just uh, a mile offshore at 2000 request uh, transition in US base, southbound. 7 Zero Tango Bravo transition approved, back number 2992. 2992 transition southbound approved, Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, thank you. Okay, and then the next is Pompano. Tower Archer 684 Alpha is 9 miles west, inbound with Delta, or full stop. Okay, so we'll stay here at 2000. 684 Alpha, Boca Tower. Alpha is 125.4. That's a runway 5 is 43 miles, 684 Alpha. And then the next one, Port Lauderdale, that's where we go really low, 120.2. The Fort Lauderdale airport is pretty close to the shoreline. I could fly three or four miles offshore to avoid the surface area of the Class Charlie airspace, but there's also a charted BFR transition route called the Shoreline Transition. Instructions on the chart say to contact Fort Lauderdale Tower on 120.2 and stay below 500 feet. I guess from here to the south, it's just one build-up area, right? Yes, oh yeah. Satellite pictures make it, the night shots make it look like one giant light bulb down here. Yeah. Yeah. Tango Bravo at the Boca Inlet, contact Pompano 125.4. 125.4, Bonanza is your Tango Bravo, thanks for help, have a good day. Pompano Tower, good morning, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. It's a VFR flight, about um, 10 to the north, a, a beam roll car 2000 along the shore. Request transition southbound. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, Pompano Tower, transition proof half mile offshore, Pompano Tower, 10 minutes 2992. 2992, transition southbound approved, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, thank you. November 5A Delta, frequency change proof to executive, traffic 2 south, 900 eastbound. Frequency change approved to executive, and we're... Okay, we got to start a Delta. descent already. Pompano Tower, Sky 2810 uniform, Pompano Short 10, ready to go. This is uh, VFR, four line transition, they call it, next to Fort Lauderdale. We got to be 500 feet low there. Okay, Fort Lauderdale Tower 12020. 20.2. Fort Lauderdale Tower, good morning, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. American 632 for Tower and 10 left, clear land traffic holding position. Check with 606, RNAF to Marley, Caution. run 10 left, clear for takeoff. Caution. Obstacle. Caution. Second City, 428, contact Obstacle. Obstacle. Fort Lauderdale Tower, good morning, Bonanza 70, Tango Bravo. Caution. Wind 9.3 with your request. Caution. Obstacle. Getting in contact with Fort Lauderdale Tower isn't easy today. Fort Lauderdale Tower, Bonanza 70, Tango Bravo. Now, pay close attention to what Tower is saying next. Number 70 Tango Bravo Flores Tower, correction number 2810 Uniform Flores Tower, proceed southbound on the shoreline or below 500 feet, that's number 2992. What just happened is the controller used my call sign initially, but then corrected himself before clearing another aircraft for the shoreline transition. I heard what I expected to hear, my call sign and the clearance I was hoping for, and somehow my brain filtered out the rest. It was my mistake, and fortunately the controller corrected me before I got much further. 2992 uh, southbound shoreline below 500. Zero Tango Bravo, thank you. Number 10 uniform squawk 0173. 
Station number 70, Tango Bravo, is that you checking in on Fort Lauderdale Tower? Yeah, it's your Tango Bravo. I thought I heard you uh, claim me for the uh, Lakeshore Transition ahead. 500. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Nope, that Pull wasn't up. you. Chase Terrain Bird Ferguson on 119.3, and when you Terrain can, you can walk 0157. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Zero one five seven and 119.3 is your Tango Bravo. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. I thought for sure I heard him say it's clear. Zero Tango Bravo, southbound along shoreline at about 500 crew. Two nine two southbound shoreline approved 500 below. Same with your Tango Bravo. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. I'll look straight ahead. One thing is for sure, oh, yeah. the terrain warnings are annoying and distracting. I did not know they were going to be as frequent as they turned out to be. Looking back, I should have disabled terrain alerts for this flight, given the good visibility that day. American 632, turn right, taxi, Bravo, ramp 1817, two. Bravo, ramp 1817, enjoy the day, 632. You too. Triple 1460, RNF2 elbow, right, one zero right, clear for takeoff. Yeah. Traffic south along the shoreline is a Cessna 400 feet. All right, RNF elbow, clear for takeoff, 10 right, Triple 1460. Clear not a Cessna. Southwest 9002, Southwest 9002, Fuller Tower, good morning. Right, one zero left, clear to land. Clear to land, one zero left, Southwest 9002. He's just taking off Terrain there. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Yeah. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. 1460, you do the same. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. 70 Tango Bravo Squawk via Far Shamper. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Squawk Terrain VFR. Ahead. Frequency Pull change up. group presents as your Tango Bravo. Thanks for help. Good day. Terrain yeah. ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Warning. Obstacle. Warning. Terrain ahead. Pull okay, up. Okay, so Terrain we are. Ahead. Pull up. Terrain outside of the ahead. transition area, Pull we can now. Terrain or the surface ahead. area. Pull up. And I'll climb a little bit. Caution. Obstacle. Caution. Obstacle. Caution. Obstacle. Caution. Obstacle. From Fort Lauderdale, we're flying south over Hollywood Beach and a few smaller towns. From the air, there's really no way of telling where one city ends and the next one begins. It's all one busy urban area. Before we know it, we've reached Miami Beach. Warning. Obstacle. Warning. Obstacle. Is that next town already in Miami? Hollywood, Florida is in between. Yeah, that is Miami. Already Miami. Three Quebec Sierra for a tower and one's their left one wait. Here in Miami we can stay closer to land without entering Class Bravo or Charlie airspace. November one zero uniform squad to be a fox and improved ship. Have a good one, thanks for help, one zero uniform. Delta eleven forty turn right, taxi at Bravo, ramp eighteen seventeen. Traffic, one o'clock. Right, uh, right here, right Bravo and level. ramp, Delta eleven forty. Out of jet 104, if you're on tower, make a left turn, taxi via Bravo. And 104, just hold short of Bravo 2, please. Go to Bravo 2, get a 104. 3 Quebec Sierra, RNAV 2 Marley, running 10 left, clear for takeoff. RNAV Marley, clear for takeoff, 10 uh, left for 3 Quebec 
Four Lauder Tower Transit 946 RLS 10 left. Transit 946 R Tower and one zero left through the land. Through the land 10 left through Transit 946. All right. Well, this is Miami Beach here, the area. Almost at the Keys. Yeah. Super short. Maybe we can do a few loops out in the ocean. Three quick yeah. here comes departure today. Today three quicks here. Okay. Klaus Bravo here starts at 1500. You got one zero four tower. You can uh, hold short of one zero left full length. You got one more arrival prior to your departure. Cool. I will uh, hold short one zero left full length at final four. Now the beach is set up, but nobody's out there. Oh, maybe we're too early. Yeah. All right. Kibis Kane is coming up. All right, we're outside of the Klaus Bravo Miami here, 1500. Next floor is 3000, so I'll climb just a little higher because it's a little more over water here. There are a small number of privately owned islands down here. and so Occasionally oh. one comes up for sale. I thought, oh, that'd be great, but I think they start at 10 million for a little, <laughs> little patch of sand with nothing yeah. on it or a dock. Well, maybe we won't go at 2000. Let's try 1500. Any signs of civilization down there? Something. It, it looks like, I don't see a dock exactly, but I see a, a water break. And it, so that, you would do that to, you know, to keep your dock from, uh, you know, the sand from coming in. So, it be uh, the bushes or something. Because who would build a water break without a dock? There's a sign of life on the end of that one, right? Yeah. There's a house right there. Maybe they can throw up a couple of cold beers and maybe they could. Oh, maybe even this next one too. That that looks developed, but I don't see a house. But there's a seawall on it. I don't know why they would. They just call this ragged keys here. Oh, that's a good name. There's a house. Nice. No road to it. You need to go by boat. Or seaplane. It's another cute little island. There's just no shortage of these. Oh, that has a lighthouse, so that's probably a government or, or a coast guard or something. Ocean reef traffic, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, about 10 miles to the northeast at 2,000 feet, will uh, pass the area at 2,000 uh, to the southwest, Ocean Reef. Ocean Reef traffic out of Bonanza turning final, runway 2322, Ocean Reef traffic. I see the runway, it's 1 o'clock, we're almost lined up with it. Yeah. Bridge channel out here. It's already shallow enough, you couldn't normally navigate. One long traffic, got one seven kilo width, right now with runway 35, we'll be following the main on Monday. Alright, Key West approach. This 124025. Yeah, 109 Tango Yankee, if you want uh, to park on the ramp, you can uh, back taxi to the, the north ramp, please. Ocean Reef traffic, Bonanza, Zio Tango Bravo is uh, passing west of the, uh, sorry, east of the field, uh, north to south at uh, 1,800 Ocean Reef. Bravo, no one ever reporting traffic, local altimeter 2991. 2991, thank you. When, when you drive, do you come through here? I don't think so. This is it's not really the keys yet. Oh, okay. It's just, uh, there's a... And yeah, so we go down one. Whoops. Highway one. Go down this. Go way over there. Well, yeah, it's actually northern Largo Key, but we would have to go down and take a left to go up. There's no road there. A little bit of light rain in the area. Probably see 
see a cluster of boats out. It's about six miles out, five miles out that way. You won't see any of the reefs, but see, yeah, I see a few, but not not a cluster. They're yeah, all they, individual. They, have, they don't. Even, they're not allowed to anchor there, but they have tie-up buoys out, so you about to find one of those. So, this area has been hit by hurricanes several times in the last few years. I mean, hurt hit bad. I mean, lots of flooding and all the trees are down. Can't, you see a little bit of it here, but when you're driving it, you see, I mean, just, oh, there's not much forest here, but what was there was just completely blown over oh. in some, some places and dead. It's just pretty sad. Yeah, what we, uh, That's an uh, impressive rain shaft there on the left. Just took a picture or a video with my iPhone. You're on guard. Yeah. Let's not go through there. Okay. You did want to clean the plane, though. Yeah, after, after it was parked at Key West, I need to clean it. Oh, okay. This is more pop more densely populated than I imagined or remembered. Yeah, you don't see so much from the road. I mean, you see some of it, but not. you get you also get the feeling that you're kind of going through something. Uh, years ago, you could easily rent anything at VRBO down here. They changed the law to, Julia Bravo, to the west with Romeo Popa. to limit the to the minimum stay 30 days in uh -huh. Monroe County, which is the south half of the Keys, and that changed everything. So housing values went down, not much, but it went down. I'm surprised these haven't overheated yet. The um, newer models must be better there. My my old ones were, were notorious for getting too hot when the sun was shining on them. Really. That's why you know, I use my air vent here to provide cooling air. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. It's like we have the sky to ourselves here. Good. No extra charge. I think this is the longest time ever that I've flown so low. Yeah. It burns more fuel, right? Not really in a in a piston airplane. It's uh, it's marginal. No. Uh, takes a little longer, and you deal more with turbulence on the ground. You know thermals. You approach a good morning, sir. Wings 93, level 8000, direct maritime information Delta. Nine or one. We'll expect nine. Oh, I think we stopped at a great Cuban restaurant right there. It looks like exactly that place, a big boat yard like that, and a, it was fabulous. All right, the next bigger one must be Marathon. Oh, that's it. It must be it there, Seven Mile Bridge. Yeah. There is an island in the middle that's uh, like Coast Guard owned or something, and you can now, now you can actually stop there. Can you ask the first ability to any for us? I'll sugar up with Scott Avery. Oh, no. Maybe that's not it. Do you think this is seven mile or? Oh, this is on the no, other side. No, it's further out. Yeah. This was originally Henry Flagler built this for the. He built. It was a railroad line. Oh, okay. It was just so he could build hotels and bring the tourists down. You know, this is you know, okay. hundred years ago or more more. And then later on they they uh, changed it to the roads. But some places you'll still see uh, the railroad crossing. You know, the original one. It's actually here. Well, it's it it's cut off, but you, sure the pieces mind. are still there. Right. We'll see it. Marathon traffic, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo, 10 miles to the east at uh, 1,700. We'll uh, cross the field on our way to Key West. Mar uh, marathon. Marathon is a big town. Yeah. Oh, yeah. From Isla Morada, we would drive here even for just a restaurant. I mean, there's something there in Isla Morada, too, but I mean, just the more diversity in the stores. And Marathon traffic, Vanessa, Zio Tango Bravo, uh, three miles to the east, crossing east to west at 1,700 Marathon. There's dedicated bike trails in this part. It's not everywhere down here, but it's here. It's 
they didn't have many uh, room for different runway orientations, did they? <laughs> oh. You just get whatever that is, east, west, or north, northeast, southwest, or something. Key West approach. Good morning, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. Heavy approach, up to 29901. 29901, and uh, I'm over Marathon at 1900 uh, inbound for Key West. Number 0 Tango Bravo, Squawk 0212. Squawk 0212, Bonanza 70 Tango Bravo. And the zero single bravo radar contact three five miles east of Navy westbound. All right, Aedas is coming in now, or maybe not. Brickyard thirty four sixty four turn right heading three one zero. Three one zero, Brickyard thirty four sixty four. Brickyard thirty four sixty four International Airport three spot seven miles. Yes, Brickyard thirty four sixty four. So it must be the old bridge there that's interrupted in places. Yes, it's used for fishing now. You can drive cars on parts of it. Well, you see a car out there. Oh no, that's not a car. It's a boat beyond it. But you can drive on parts of it. But then it's above one o'clock, nine miles northwest bound. Every year, one thousand six hundred. Yeah, the places where you couldn't get it with a car because you have gaps on both sides. Yeah. I wonder if Key West is the dream layover town for airline pilots. See uh, Key West or Cedar Rapids? Yeah, one of the two. Well, it got too busy because they let the large uh, cruise ships uh, dock, and uh, now recently they made a change. I think you can't you have more than 500 passengers. Oh, that's good. So uh, hopefully that'll make it a little more sane. But I don't even know if that rule is enforced yet. We may still see, you know, all of a sudden 500 or I mean 5,000 or 10,000 passengers are pumped off. They, Two West Tower Airspace Tackle, 1453, Zulu Wind, Com, Weather Better in 5005, Temperature 2A, 2.21, Altimeter 29901. Visual approach is being used for runway 9 bird activity within the vicinity of the airfield. Read back all sort of structures. Note that the airman public control lighting out for the passage runway 9 are out of service. Airport Beacon is out of service. Ramp control is 130.875. That is for aircraft parking and commercial ramp only. Backpack to runway 9 is not authorized without tower's approval. One point ground control of on taxi, advise on contact. You have information, Echo. I was in a hurry. Ooh, but that's a 7 0 single problem. We just got the 8 is uh, have information echo. Roger. All right, we got tower and ground here. There's a Navy base just east of Key West. The controller told us to stay three miles south as we transition, probably to stay clear of departures from Key West. Bonanza 0 single Bravo, make your transition to Navy's class Delta, three miles south of the shoreline. Okay, uh, it's three miles south of the shoreline, and uh, should I call them, or are you coordinating for me? Uh, zero Tango Bravo, uh, I'm coordinating for you, Navy is closed, expect to uh, contact International Tower here in a moment. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, roger. It wasn't real clear. Okay, so he wants us to stay three miles south of the shoreline, which I think we are. So I see the Navy field, and then Key West is right behind. Next big runway there. Okay. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, contact International Tower 18-2, good day. 18-2, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, thanks for your help, have a good day. Key West Tower, good morning, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, uh, 11 miles to the east, uh, 1900, inbound for full stop landing. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, Key West Tower, good morning. Enter a right downwind for runway 9 or a Key West International Report midfield. Right downwind, runway 9 will report uh, midfield. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo. Alright, uh, descent checklist. Yeah, weather and modems. Uh, mixture is good. We're just making a light pattern here. It's good visibility. We have the radio set up. Cabin is secure. 
This is Stock Island, this little thing here. Oh, okay. All right, gear. Found and locked. Landing checklist. Gear is down and locked. We got three greens. Landing light is on. Mixture enriched. Oops, on short final. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo is uh, midfield, right down wind for Niner. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, wind 1 2 0 at 4, runway 9 to clear land. Runway 9 to clear land, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo. Pickleball courts right below us. Yeah. All right, we clear land. Gas. Gonna get the tank. Undercarriage. Mixture. Prop. Three greens. Flaps are down. Right on Alpha, Bravo 6 to the signature ramp. You can monitor ground 121.9. Okay, Alpha 3, right on Alpha, and then uh, uh, Bravo 6, I believe, and monitor ground to the signature ramp. And then says, you take Bravo. Have a good day. You too, thank you. Key West, Tromstar uh, is lifting lower key, C stop. Tromstar, Roger, the winds are 1604, altimeter 300, 9 or 1, contact Navy approach 124.02. Right. Switching Navy Chama, sir. On the ground. Two words, Ready to go. After right, landing, number three flex zero identified. Five. Um, call them the top two nine or four. Two three five zero. Three zero five two nine or four three two five zero. Uh, seven o'clock Uh, two three five zero. How much did it cost to land and park here? It wasn't too bad really. Parking is $35 a night and fuel is a bit pricey, but then what isn't on this island? I stayed for two nights before flying back north. And that's it for this video. Thanks for coming along and a special thank you to Jim, my newest patron supporter, and all the people on Patreon who so generously helped me make these videos possible. See you soon in another video.